There's a power inside all of us to live our passion. And Dupixent works on the inside to help heal your skin from within. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema, so adults can have long-lasting, clearer skin and fast itch relief. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Healing from within is a powerful thing. Ask your eczema specialist how Dupixent can help heal your skin from within. This week on The Talk... KCAL is in the house! Jamie Yukis and Rotobay Shabazi from KCAL News Mornings are our guest co-hosts. Hi, Hi, Jamie! Hi, Hi, Hi. Hi. You can watch us on KCAL News Mornings. Then turn on The Talk at 1 on CBS Los Angeles. See you soon! This is KCAL News, Los Angeles. And here it is as we take a live look at LaGuardia Airport in New York. The plane, former of former President Donald Trump, touching down there on the tarmac. Mr. Trump is expected to turn himself into authorities tomorrow morning and be arraigned in a Manhattan courthouse. We will then find out the exact charges that he will be facing. Again, no former president has ever been charged with a crime before. Of course, stay with KCAL News as we continue to follow the latest developments on this historic indictment of former President Donald Trump. We are always on. It's KCALnews.com and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. And now here at 1230, a fiery crash on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood left one person dead and three others badly hurt. I mean, look at this. It left that car unrecognizable. You can barely even make out the frame anymore. Police say someone in another car came in, helped the driver take off. KCAL News reporter Cara Fenstrom shows us how they tracked him down. The LAPD confirms that officers are now with the suspect who is in critical condition at the hospital. They believe he ran away from this crash, and you can see the wreckage of it, uh, really just the metal frame uh, now being towed away. It was completely consumed by fire, and sadly, one of the three women who was a passenger in the car at the time, was trapped inside and killed. Police say the other two somehow got out and were taken to the hospital. Here's more of what we heard from a police spokesperson. The driver exited the vehicle and was picked up by a third party. That was what investigators found out was following the car and was transported to a local hospital. Fire department paramedics responded and transported two female adults to the hospital where one is listed in stable condition, the other listed in stable but critical condition. Fire crews immediately worked to put out those flames, and before paramedics stepped in, bystanders tried to help those two surviving passengers. The preliminary investigation from the LAPD suggests the driver was heading down Sunset and crashed into a center divider and a tree, as well as a light pole. At this point, they say it does not appear any other cars were involved in the actual crash. They are looking into whether there could have been any street racing at play here. This crash happened right around 2.30 this morning, and here's what a witness to the aftermath told us. I saw a few people frantically trying to beat the window open. They were sh like sh uh, shouting and screaming. Um, I saw two women, from what I remember, that were in like complete distress, like freaking out entirely about what had happened. After the flames just kept, kind of kept getting bigger and bigger, they kind of gave up, and I heard like screaming and shouting, and the car just started to explode. So again, police now have their suspect uh, in custody in the hospital. Unclear at this point what charges he might face. Cara Finstrom, KCAL News. The southbound 5 freeway in northern L.A. County is back open after being closed all night for some major repairs. Our assignment manager, Mark Liu, is at the desk now with details of the closure and also video of the work that was being done. Mark? Yeah, Jasmine, Caltrans worked through the night to get this done in time for the morning rush hour this morning. They managed to do it. They had to fix a bunch of damage caused by the rain last week. Let me show you the video of what they had to do. This is drone video that Caltrans shot back on March 29th of the southbound 5 near Gorman. You can see how the hillside 
side just gave way, taking part of the southbound five freeway with it. Now that rightmost two lanes have been closed since and over the weekend Caltrans got started on the repairs.